Welcome to your weekly UAS news update, the place where you get your drone news not two weeks late. And this week we have four stories. First one is a drone attack on a substation that was reported from last year. We'll talk about this and the implication of, uh, of what this has for the industry. We'll talk about a man, Florida man, that we talked about in the past that was actually charged finally for shooting a drone down. This is the first in history and we'll talk about, again, the implications of this. We'll talk about CBP that is reporting that smugglers are using drones to, well, you'll find out, to find police. And then lastly, we'll talk about a C-130, that's a large aircraft that is catching a drone in flight that's also a pretty large drone. So let's get to it. Okay, the first thing this week is kind of disturbing. Uh, sadly, this is something that we knew was going to happen at one point, is a, a drone in the United States. And this is the first one that has been reported so far. Uh, was used to apparently try to attack a substation. And um, what happened is that a, a federal government just recently surf surfaced of a drone, it was a Mavic 2 that was modified and that was found near an electrical substation. Uh, the aircraft camera was removed, the serial number looks like it was obscured or scratched off, and there was a copper wire that was attached below the drone, which supposedly was going to be used to shortcut, short circuit a uh, a, a, a substation uh, and then basically shut down power uh, of an entire neighborhood. And uh, this is the first time that a drone was used in a domestic drone attack, looks like, but uh, maybe even a terrorist attack in this case. Uh, DHS, FBI, and then NCTC believe that the aircraft was used in order to uh, try to cut down the power to the neighborhood. Uh, there's an article to Drone Excel. You can see some pictures uh, out there. This is a really interesting story. I'm afraid this is not the first time nor the last time that we're going to see something like this happening. Um, and, uh, well, hopefully we don't have to report on this too often. The next thing this week involves Florida man. Yes, we've been missing Florida man, whoever that person is. But a federal grand jury has finally indicted a man for shooting down an aircraft, a drone, which is the first time actually in history that uh, somebody in the U.S. is getting um, is getting indicted for doing that. In the past, people have shot drones, they've been in trouble, but it's never been for uh, 18 U.S.C. 32, which is the federal regulation that prohibits someone from uh, taking down an aircraft, in, in this case, a drone. Uh, this is a man that we reported on a couple weeks ago. This was in Florida. He shot down a Matrice 300 drone that belonged to a police department, uh, saying that the drone was harassing him. Uh, he was not legally allowed to have a firearm in the first place. He had 29 previous felony convictions, and, uh, and now one more with uh, 18 USC 32. And this is interesting because, like I said, this has never happened in the past, and uh, we've been kind of very critical of uh, these things happening, people getting shut down, their drones getting shut down, nothing ever happening. So this is setting a precedent. Uh, obviously, it's not a good precedent because of what happened, but it is a good thing that finally this is being enforced. So hopefully we see more of this and people kind of slow down on uh, shooting down at drones. Third story this week, I know this is kind of a grim news update this week, but uh, these things are happening and we, we got to talk about them. Uh, it's CBP. CBP says that smugglers are actually using drones. Uh, this, was, uh, this was found in a criminal complaint in, uh, filed in federal court uh, this week, and it shows that smugglers are using a small, a small drones, small UAS, to scout for law enforcement. And the report basically says that they're being used as eyes in the sky to guide the smugglers uh, in an attempt to evade law enforcement enforcement. Uh, somebody was arrested by Border Patrol and said that they were guided step by step using a cell phone call because they had a drone flying up in the air and seeing where uh, the police is located. So um, this comes only a few days after a Matrice 600 was caught with six pounds of uh, six pounds of heroin that was seized in Yuma, Arizona. And uh, we talked about somebody else that was trying to smuggle contraband into a uh, a, um, uh, that was what a prison not too long ago and another Matrice 600 right here. So uh, just interesting things the drones are being used for. Typically not the kind of stuff we like to report on, but uh, it is happening. Last thing is kind of a cool thing. This is a cool video of a C-130 that is catching a drone. Now this is a larger drone, it's called a Gremlin, uh, that is being caught in flight uh, during a, uh, um, a, a mission, whatever they were doing in here, but they can carry, deploy, and recover up to four of these at the same time. And uh, they can be used in a swarming operation. Again, uh, not something that we typically report on, but quite frankly, the, the drone news has been a little bit quiet, uh, especially after all the, uh, the Mavic stuff last week 
week. I think it's taken the the uh, people are waiting to report on new things because there's so much going on with these new drones. So that's it. That's all I have for you this week. Like, subscribe, leave your comments down in here, and then we'll see you guys next week. Thank you.